So today is the day. We've got quite a few things to talk about. We've got a brand new game out this week that looks absolutely amazing. The PlayStation Plus titles go live later on today, which I cannot wait to check out. We've got a rumor for an awesome title and some free content for an amazing game as well. Tons and tons of stuff. Now, the Instagram giveaway, we're going to be announcing the winner later on today, possibly tomorrow, and we're going to be starting a new one, uh, which will be for either PlayStation Plus membership or PSN credit. You guys will get to pick. All you need to do to enter, make sure you're following over on Insta, wait for the new post to go up, make sure you like, leave a comment, and make sure you're following, and keep an eye out for the winner announcement as well. Now, one quick thing as well before we do get into the video today, any of you guys that do need to renew your PlayStation Plus memberships, if you need to pick up your PSN credit on the cheap, or you just want to get your new game at a decent discounted price make sure you check out the sponsor instant gaming everything on their site is usually like 20 to 30 percent off and they are also running a giveaway right now the link down below in the description will link you through and you get to pick your own prize it's definitely worth entering check it out down below but let's get into it first up the drop we didn't do the video yesterday there's only one new game out this week which personally i'm interested in checking out and that is the new lego star wars game i've got to be honest though i'm not a star wars fan however i am a lego fan i've never really watched the movies i didn't watch them as a kid i didn't watch them growing up and you watch them now and things just don't look as good because they're quite old and um, but when it comes to lego i just love the humor trying to figure out the story of the star wars kind of universe going through the lego side probably isn't the best however it puts a bit of humor into it and it keeps it a little bit more entertaining that's out this week and again if you want to get it cheaper make sure you pre-order it from instant gaming you'll get it for a little bit cheaper than you'll be able to get it on the store so it's definitely definitely worth taking a look at and um, but moving on the rumors the game that's been rumored is call of duty modern warfare now i know a lot of people will kind of look at this and go yeah that's never going to happen it's never going to happen everyone always says that call of duty is never going to be on playstation plus until you point out that most of the other Call of Duty games have been on PlayStation Plus. So yeah, Modern Warfare, obviously it's a couple of years old now. It's not massive. People don't really play it much anymore. And it was quite similar to when like Black Ops 4 went on, same as when Black Ops 3 went on. And yeah, I mean, it's not a bad title. It's worth a play. I mean, getting the player base up on there, people are, people are playing Vanguard. People are still playing Cold War. Modern Warfare is that one that, to be honest, I don't think I know anyone that still plays it at all and if it went on playstation plus i think it kind of go the same way i think anyone that wanted it had already owned it and i think anyone that tried playing on it now just would it get the best experience empty lobbies and all that kind of stuff obviously you've got the campaign which was pretty decent but i think that's probably the only thing that's worth playing on modern warfare nowadays just because like i say empty lobbies sat waiting around to try and get into a game isn't the best experience so yeah personally i don't think it would make the best playstation plus title but it's what's been rumoured and it has happened before with a lot of the COD games. Leave a comment down below though, let me know your thoughts. Call of Duty Modern Warfare on PlayStation Plus, think it's a good idea or a bad idea. Next up, bonus content. It's always nice to get something for free whether or not it's through PlayStation Plus or through a different service. Now this one is actually through Twitch Prime. Don't worry if you don't have an active membership, there is a link down below that will give you a 30 day free trial so you can claim this stuff and a load of other free stuff as well. But the free stuff that we're looking at this week is for Overwatch. You can actually get yourself a golden loot box to claim yourself some cool in-game items. Now it's kind of linked up to Twitch Prime now so every month for the foreseeable future there's going to be um, some free content through Twitch so it's definitely going to be worth checking out. Now if you don't know what Overwatch is, it's a shooter that's... Even though it's really cool, it's really good, the time to kill on it is a little bit irritating sometimes. But when I do play it with friends, I do have a really, really good time. There's so many different characters to master, which kind of makes it a little bit awkward. If you've got a favourite character that you play in this game, and then someone else picks that character, you have to try and get somebody else and try and get used to multiple characters, which is good. It's just, it can be a little bit annoying sometimes when you have got your favourite. Personally, I think it's always Bastion that I play as. Um, if I remember it rightly, he's got like a little turret that he puts down. So you can kind of run around and shoot and just kill as normal. And then if you get to a, a, like a decent position, you can put your turret down and just blast the hell out of people. It is a pretty cool game. It's definitely worth playing. The customizations in it are pretty cool as well. A little bit quirky and some decent character skins. And I always say the same thing, even if you don't play the game right now, make sure you always claim this free stuff because 
because if at any point in the future you do decide to play it, at least you've kind of got some free stuff sat there waiting for you. Um, one quick thing before we move on, um, any of you guys that are curious about my setup, what mic I use and all that sort of stuff, there are links down below that will link you through to um, Amazon so you can have a look and check stuff out on there. It's not really high range stuff that I use, I tend to use like mid range, not majorly expensive, not major cheap, but seems to do the job quite well. Um, but moving on, what have I been playing? You guys always ask it in the comments, on Twitter, Discord, what games I'm playing right now. This week I've been playing Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Now I'm not going to lie, the one shot thing that was free on PlayStation Plus, I thought it was okay. Wasn't too fussed about it. However, the main game I've been playing it this week and I've absolutely been loving it. It is pretty much just going back to Borderlands, apart from it's in the sense of it's a big game of D&D. &D. And it is really, really cool. It's really fun to play. The worlds are beautiful. It looks absolutely amazing. But if you don't know what it is, it's the Looter Shooter. Borderlands has been free on PlayStation Plus in the past. So if you've played those games where you level up and all the enemies drop guns and armor and all that sort of stuff, and the more you level up, the better the gear is and there's loot rarities and all that sort of stuff. It's that style of game. Apart from with Borderlands and Tiny Tina, it kind of looks like comic book. However, with next-gen consoles and just the way that the graphics look, it looks a hell of a lot better than like the old Borderlands did. It's definitely, definitely worth a play. And that's what I've been putting a lot of my time into this week. I've been loving it. And it's what I'm going to be doing for probably the rest of the day today. But moving on again, my predictions to finish up with. Two games that I'm going to go for. Two completely different style of games. First up, I'm actually going to go for Overwatch. There's free content being given away for this. It's a really old game. It's that game that anyone that's into shooters that's like that likes this sort of stuff pretty much already owns it anyway so to give it away on playstation plus i don't think it'd be a massive massive deal because to be fair most people are already going to own it so it's going to get the player base up a little bit and it'll build up a little bit of hype putting a game like this on there second one that i'm going to go for is thief simulator now i play this game in vr and i've got it on console as well anyway and it is so fun to play it's kind of like a tycoon game mixed with other stuff so when you start off you're a, you're a burglar pretty much that's that's exactly what it is so you go through and you have to find a way to break into someone's house first off you have to make sure they're not home so you can kind of watch the house first and figure out the times that people are in figure out the times that no one's home and then it's time to go break in you can either go in with like your crowbar smash the window and climb through you can pick the locks there's loads of different security stuff on different houses and the more you level up yourself the more kind of gear that you can unlock to break in so when you first start off you'll be like smashing windows climbing in nicking a tv robbing money and a pair of trainers putting them in the back of your car driving off to um, a shop and pawning them in for some cash and then using your cash to buy some other stuff it is a really cool game it does take a while to get into the better stuff when you start off you do kind of feel like it's the same thing over and over again but it is tons and tons of fun to play i play it quite a bit i have got it on the switch as well so i can play it when i'm away I think the most fun experience though is playing in VR. It is pretty damn amazing. But those are the two games that I'm gonna go for. Cute. Curious to see what you guys think. What would your predictions be for this month on PlayStation Plus? Leave a comment down below. Now, any of the games that I've mentioned today and when it comes to this month's PlayStation Plus titles, if you're looking for people to play with, if you're looking for people to get hints and tips from, if you just want to talk about it, make sure you jump in the Discord. It's a decent community and just an easy way to find new people to play with. And make sure you follow in over on Twitter as well. It's where I share most of the gaming news that I don't make content on. And finally, again, just a reminder, the Insta um, giveaway, the winner will be announced at some point either today or tomorrow and the new giveaway will start this week so make sure you follow in over on there so you don't miss out but that's pretty much it for this one i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have a like it'd be awesome don't forget to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel but thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time